Now here's the feel for the $250,000 Keith E. Card, Cal Cup Juvenile Phillies. Leading the post parade, number one, doing hard time again. Owned by Tommy Town Thoroughbreds and bred by Tommy Town Thoroughbreds, the trainer is Jerry Hollendorfer. In the irons, Martine Garcia. Number two is Warren Sugarbuzz. Owned and bred by Benjamin Warren and trained by Jorge Gutierrez, the jockey, Tyler Bays. Number three, Cotton's Point. Owned by Bolton, Gonzalez and Summit Racing and trained by Jeff Bondi, the rider, Mike Smith and the breeder, Adrian Gonzalez. Number four is Emily Wygod's Burt's Altercation. Trained by Marty Jones in the Irons is Joel Rosario. Burt's Altercation was bred by T. Par 2. Number five, A Kiss for a Rose. Owned by Loving Gear, Warren and Templeton Horses, and bred by Terry Loving Gear, the trainer is Gary Sherlock, the rider Alonzo Quinones. Number six is Kiona. Owned by Kurt and Lila Lanning and trained by Ed Moja, the rider Juan Hernandez, and the breeders B&B Zeitstables. Then comes Sacred Delight number seven. Owned and bred by Al and Sandy Kirkwood and trained by Eric Kraljak, Sacred Delight's rider is Garrett Gomez. Number eight, Oh Golly Molly. Owned by Dolan, London and Winters and bred by Terry Lovingear, the trainer is Walter Solis, the rider Martin Pedrosa. Number nine is Tilled. Owned by Mike Harrington and also trained by Mike Harrington, Tilled has been ridden today by Rafael Bejarano. Was bred by Michael Harrington and Patricia Harrington. Number 10, Graduator. Owned by Cancellari in the Legacy Ranch and bred by the Legacy Ranch, Graduator is trained by Brian Coroner. The rider, Joe Talamo. That's the feel for the $250,000 Keith E. Card, Cal Cup Juvenile Phillies. Graduator going in. Gates closed, all in. And away they go. Doing hard time again fast, but there goes Burt's altercation. Absolutely sprinting early on. Tilde is going to settle in the third spot. Graduator's forced to go a little wide. A kiss for a rose in the white cap, racing right behind the leaders. Sacred Delight is in mid-pack. Eight lengths, those leaders could not be going any quicker. Then we come back to Cotton's Point in the orange colors. In behind that comes Kiona. On the far side, we have All Golly Molly and Warren Sugarbuzz last early. Past the three-quarter pole and Burt's altercation. Now the rider takes a hold, tries to slow them down. Doing hard time again up alongside in second. Tilda settled in third. In behind that, a kiss for a rose. Alongside comes Graduators. Sacred Delight is now five off them. As they take closer order, they slow down a little up front. In behind that, all golly molly, and then comes Kiona. Cotton's point is second last, and Warren Sugarbuzz, the trailer, ten lengths would cover the lot. Into the far turn they go. Along the inside, it's Burt's altercation. Up alongside, doing hard time again. Now it's two lengths back to Tilde in third. On the inside, a kiss for a rose. Sacred Delight making headway. Sacred Delight coming to tackle on the far side. Graduated did not go on, has dropped out of it. At the top of the lane, doing hard time again. Now here's Till, and Till now breathing down the neck of doing hard time again. Heads a turn for home, and Till gets the lead. Doing hard time again, very brave, battling on along the inside. Cotton Point starts to run on late. They come for home. Tilled on the outside, doing hard time again in that thriller. They nose and nose through the lane. Till the advantage, doing hard time again. Battles right back. Till going to win it. And Tilled in a driving finish. Great finish. Till does won it. Doing hard time again, second. Close for third. A kiss for a rose. Cotton's point. And then all golly molly.
The unofficial first two place finishes, winner number nine tilled, second number the result is official. Just a reminder, Santa Anita has a large pick five carryover. Stress pick five tomorrow. That'll be on the first five races. It's just a 50 cent wager. Carryover of more than $270,000. There's no reason that pick five tomorrow shouldn't go over one and a half million dollars. Obviously no guarantees, but with a carryover of 270,000 going into a Sunday, that pick five could go over one and a half million dollars. Again, it's a 50 cent wager. It'll be on the first five races tomorrow. First five races, carry over of more than $270,000. Look for a pool of around about one and a half million for the pick five tomorrow. Now entering the Grey Goose winner's circle is the official winner of the $250,000 Keith Card Calcup Juvenile Phillies, number nine, Tilled. She's a two-year-old Grey filly by Swiss Yodler out of self-taught. She's owned by Mike Harrington, trustee. Mike Harrington is also the winning trainer. His assistant is John Cisneros. The winning jockey, Rafael Bejarano. Rafael Bejarano getting two wins today. Tilled was bred in the trust of Michael Harrington and Patricia Harrington.